And there was a scene where Bubbles as Pharisee woman cleansed Hayes' feet and Hayes rebuked her husband, played by a regular male sign shoot. And a scene of the, re of the reenactment of the Last Supper followed by Cal sign shoot as Judas bartering for the betrayal of Jesus. And then the scene with Judas facing Jesus surrounded by his soldiers. Jesus said, I mean, Judas said to Jesus, I gotta get this now. Praise Rabbi. The Jews kisses Jesus on the lips for a second or two. Jews leaves and Jesus asks, Hey, where are you going? And as the supporters of, J of Jesus fled off state, Jesus was apprehended. Nice sir signed you as the high priest asked for the witnesses, only to find none. Then the priest sentences Jesus to death. And Jesus was taken to the pilot for the trial. Here says to Jesus, I do not know you. Eh, I agree. Peter. Eh. Perceptor Sancho as the pilot stands before Jesus at the trial and asks him, Perceptor Sancho as the pilot stands before Jesus at the trial and asks him, Are you just the king of the Jews? Jesus responds, You said it, I didn't. Do you know what the crimes that have been put against you? Jesus does not respond, but in the pause moments as the lights cut, only t a spotlight remains on Jesus. Jesus says aloud his thoughts in the moment. As I have foreseen it, even if I testify by destiny and prophecy, I will be crucified anyway, so I can, verse my, I can serve my energy for the resurrection of mine from the cross. <sighs> it's a thing I gotta do, and I gotta roll with it. The lights cut back on. The hate pilot required, inquires the witnesses that were false. One of them shouts, He said he would destroy the temple and restore it in three days. Everyone shouts out, Crucify him! Nice or sign you as Barabbas was brought in. And the pilot asked the witnesses, This man Barabbas... And the pilot asked the witnesses, This man Barabbas is convicted of murder and insurrection. Would you rather I release Jesus or Barabbas? Witness is shot. Release Barabbas! Crucify Jesus! They continue even as the pilot asks, Why? What crime has Jesus committed? With a groan, the pilot dipped her hands into the nearby blood of water. Very well. Release Barabbas and deliver Jesus. I wash my hands of this. Let Jesus' blood be on your hands. The lights cut off as Jesus is relocated off stage right to get the crown of thorns on his head. As the crowd of the cast of regular Sanchez and Rose shoes line up along the curtain, and the lights come on as Jesus carries the cross across the stage along the jeering crowd. Then he is tied to the cross and placed upright. Jesus shouts, My God! My God! Why am I forsaken? Then he collapses into death. And Joker now raises the lights cut off and the scene is changed. Jesus Christ had died on the cross at Golgotha. His body had been laid to rest in the tomb. Jesus was fighting another battle as the sins he had absorbed saw his soul fall to hell. The lights cut back on to reveal Jesus in the center stage with Sanchez and Roshis behind bars, groaning and moaning from their punishments amidst red streamers on the stage floor. Stage grips moving cardboard cards of demons scurrying about. Jams assigns you as Satan approaches Jesus. Welcome to the hell, son of God. <laughs> and Satan falls with a sky uppercut. Bora Jesus takes Satan's, and Satan's keys. Satan rolls away stage right. Jesus breaks the cardboard demons in the middle, and Jesus lifts a hand and emits a light and control blue thundershock symbolizing holy flames. The stage lights go from red to blue. Jesus frees all the sinners and forgives them. The freed ones leave stage right. Jesus returns to center stage and stomps his left foot. The lights cut off. Angelica narrates as the streamers are picked up and the scenery quickly changed. Jesus conquers hell and death by taking Satan's keys and freeing the lost souls, cleansing hell into nothing with holy flame and light. Three days in the tomb, Jesus' body had lay, and then as the light and holy light shines upon the body, Jesus Christ returns and is 
resurrected. The lights cut back on, revealing Jesus lying in a casket, with a cave entrance blocked by a large stone nearby. Jesus wakes up and sits up and gets out a casket. Aloud, he says, Right, I freed the sinners. Time to announce my return. Jesus slams the boulder away and lock, walks right out of the tomb, then off stage. The Virgin Mary and Mary Magdalene walk to the tomb's entrance and see the stone rolled away with the tomb empty. What the? Where's Jesus? Away. Angelica Rosshu comes down and sits against the casket. She tells Mary and she tells the two Marys, Do not be afraid. Jesus is crucified and Jesus has risen. As you can see, he is not here. Go tell Peter and the disciples that Jesus has gone to Galilee. He shall find him safe, alive, healthy, and well there. The two start off towards stage left as Jesus walks towards them and says, Hey, Mary. The two Marys looked up and praised the Lord, and they both hugged him. Jesus tell them, Be not afraid. I'm okay. Go tell my brethren that I shall meet them in Galilee. As the lights cut off and scenery is rolled away, Angelica walks towards the stage right and narrates, And so the two Marys told all of Jesus' disciples, and the eleven disciples went to Galilee to find Jesus. Okay, the lights cut back on. The disciples stand before Jesus on stage and praise him. Peter approaches, checks and see the scars, which were essentially makeup at this point because we're talking about play here, in his hands and touches his shoulder and steps back against Jesus and I mean, east. No, I'm sorry. And touches his shoulder, then steps back aghast. Jesus asks Peter three times, "Do you love me?" Yes, Pierre answers, Pierre answers every time, yes, with tears in his eyes the third time. Jesus says to his disciples, I am blessed with the powers of the heavens, cosmos, and earth. Go forth and teach all nations to always be mindful, observant, and following the path of light, power, and good. All subtle cues are signs from the angels, cosmos, and light. Do not ever dismiss them. We gods and goddesses are always with all of you, including I, even though we're not perfect either. Keep faith and have no doubt within. Go forth with blessings and good, all of you. Everyone vacates the stage as Angelica approaches the center stage with her last narration of the play. And Jesus walked away from his disciples into a portal of light. Jesus continued on in immortal life, never again dying physically. Jesus continued his walks of on earth life, going from one place to another and assuming different identities and forms. Sanchi Prime still as Jesus walks on stage, from stage right as from as from stage left a regular Sanchi female brought out a large blue turtle plush and a llama plush and stood between them in a line. Jesus stood beside the llama. Following Jesus was a son she donned like an African man, followed by one who was a monk, a few others in varying forms, followed by, well, one by one dressed in, in no, followed by one dressed in Egyptian garb like one of Cleopatra's advisors, a few others including some female Sanchu and female Rose Chu. Ending with Punchy dressed up as Ang the Airbender, Bubbles as Cora, and Nightstar as Sylvia, Merlin's assistant. Now I'm talking Merlin the Magician. And Jughead continued. So in summary, Jesus Christ is the one avatar of existence and God of Gods. He still walks among us today from a veil separate half of our earth right here. But not like how we all have come to know of his famous past self. The next part, he has some preface, so Christian, you know, Christian Chan, my counterpart. Yeah, he had to do some research into my goddess form. He even got into 
talking with Neptune Blonde Noir and Vert of Game Industry to learn of Scarlet LaRoe, the original CPU Goddess Blue Heart of Kama, and the Commodore consoles. The outfit of Goddess Blue Heart matched what I was wearing and wear today in that divine intervention card I gave to Crystalina. That's another detail that's going to be reviewed when I get to review on the rest of these parts of the God's Law pages. This was written before that, anyway. Uh, Chris had a specially tailored one-piece suit and shin guard wear, plus the Commodore wings made, and had to wear and fill a D-cup padded bra under the one-piece, and slip a shaped blue colored cover over his sonic shoe form's tail, and get dolled up in the bless in this blessed portrayal. 